Hello gang gang, this is Naman. Welcome to my channel, Make Me Think Harder. <laughs> Today I want to talk about, is Yang Gang an exclusive club? Or rather, are Yang Gang exclusive clubs? <laughs> you need a beer for this. <laughs> Cheers. Reason I want to discuss this is because I had a comment on old video I made back in April, back in April, and some Twitter comments I recently saw in Twitterverse. <laughs> I made this uh, video about Paget and Li Zhao I thought wrongfully talking about Andrew Yang's op-ed I thought Andrew Yang was uh, calling for action in Asian community Asian American community Paget thought he's asking Asian Americans to prove their Americanness <clears throat> I mean, I guess uh, you could interpret it that way. I mean, I understand that. I I talked to m with my daughter and my my kids, my son. They're about Paige's age, and they agree with her more than me. But I thought about it. Thought hard about it, <laughs> and I realized why there might be some difference between my perception and their perception. Paget's perception and my perception. She was born here in the United States. To her, U.S. citizenship is a matter of right. I was naturalized U.S. citizen. I am a naturalized U.S. citizen. To me, I mean, I was that was about 18, when I was 18. To me, being a citizen was a privilege. I mean, I had a swell oath and I had to pass the test, you know. I actually had to prove my Americanness <laughs> to become a citizen. So, the Andrew Yang's op-ed to me was calling for action, not asking Asian American to prove their Asian Americanness. For Paget, it was, Andrew Yang was telling Asian American to prove their your Americanness. Anyway, on this comment, this person wrote, You're making mountain out of molehill. And maybe I am. Maybe I am making. And even this video probably is making mountain out of molehill. <laughs> and, but I thought Paget was too. And matter of fact, I thought she had, I mean, she has capacity to make a bigger mountain than mountain that I ever can make <laughs> because she has of course she has a lot more viewers thousand times more viewers than I have so <laughs> practically speaking she could make bigger mountain than I ever could make <laughs> but uh, that was that didn't bother me maybe I, I am you know I could I could accept that I, maybe I am doing that but the second comment really saddened me, actually. She said, leave the Paget Kagi alone. I mean, Paget was uh, criticizing Andrew Yang, and if I was criticizing Paget, I mean, and if somebody's making a video about criticizing me, <laughs> I don't expect someone to go and say, leave Namen alone, you know. Anyway. Leave Paget Kegi alone. Where were you when Yang Gang were pounding the streets? You weren't there. <laughs> Very accusatory. And ironically, she's asking to prove my Yang Gangness. <laughs> So 
So, immediately, of course, I'm thinking, hey, my, I want to prove my endgameness by, you know. But I, and you suspended his campaign. I already feel guilty about not doing enough. But when, when we go back, way back, when Andrew Yang started his campaign, and when we call ourselves Yang Yang, everybody was welcome. There was no mean testing for Yang Yang. Only mean testing for Yang Yang was that consider voting for Andrew Yang, your Yang Yang. <laughs> That's it. Oh, you're a Trump supporter. Come on, Yang Gang. If you like UBI, you like a democracy dollar, and you know, capitalism, humanity first capitalism, come on, join us, Yang Gang. It doesn't matter what your religion you are Christian, Muslim, atheist, oh, what sexual orientation you are, straight, gay, lesbian. Gender neutral. I mean, just join us. You're welcome. You paid two dollar to the NGN campaign one time. You paid thousand dollar to NGN campaign one time. Doesn't matter. Join us. You did phone banking. You took up signatures at your local places. Doesn't matter. You did it or not. If you do, great. If not. And all you can do is, uh, you know, go go on Twitter and promote activity of Andrew Yang crowds, Yang Gang, you know, trending. Yeah, let's do that. Yang Gang, let's do it. What happened to that openness? <laughs> Ever since Andrew Yang suspended, we start having these dramas about who should be considered Yang Gang. Only if uh, you make a huge influences. Only if you contributed enough money. Only if you donated enough of your personal time, then you're Yang Yang. This idea is really a direct contradiction to Andrew Yang's campaign. For instance, UBI, Universal Basic Income. You have intrinsic value because you're a human being. Whether you're employed or not, you have intrinsic value. Whether you produce something for society or not, you have intrinsic value for being a human being. And if you have adopted that idea, mean testing to be Yang Yang is a very contradic contradictory notion, right? <laughs> you don't need beer. <laughs> I, on Twitter, this person wrote something like uh, Indoctrinating your children to Christianity is child abuse. Whoa! <laughs> that stuck to me too, by the way, because I'm Christian. <laughs> and, uh, wow, that's a broad statement, right? Indoctrinating, what's that mean? Inject indoctrinating your child, children to Christianity. Am I indoctrinating them if I take my children to church? You know, Christian church? This is a fellow Yang Gang saying to other group of Yang Gang, hey, you're abusing your child. That's a huge charge. That means what do you do with the child abuser? Separate the child from the abuser, right? You're suggesting that this group of Yang Gang who are Christian should separate themselves from their children. Of course, uh, if you're a child abuser, I mean, we're, we're exclusive enough to exclude child abusers, rapers, you know, murderers, killers. We wanna, we don't want them <laughs> in our group, right? <laughs> But uh, 
Yeah, I, I. And then there's a uh, Twitter mention about boomers, us boomers. I'm boomer too, by the way. <laughs> there's so many ways for me to be excluded from Yang Gang. I mean, come on, I'm a boomer, and they're complaining about boomer how we ruin the environment and we consume all these things, and um, some of that. <laughs> I have to say, yeah, guilt is charge. <laughs> we didn't know better. Wanna change? I'm willing I'm willing to change. <laughs> I don't know. In my view. If we won't have a real chance at Andrew Yang running for president in 2024, we cannot afford to be exclusive clubs. We have to go back to day one and say, hey, if you have this idea about UBI, democracy dollars, humanity first capitalism, Join us, Yang Gang. You could be atheist, Christian, Muslim, black, white, red, blue, green, gay, straight, in between, whatever. Trump's portal. <laughs> what not? Well, that's one thing I'm not, Trump's portal. But Oh, that's okay. We still we accepted transporter before. Why sh should we now be exclusive against them? That's not right either. You know. Anyway, yeah. Don't don't think we are a huge gigantic group where we could afford to be so exclusive. That's my view. That's my hard thinking. <laughs> Yeah, I want to be part of the Yang Gang. <laughs> Till next time. Let me know. Oh, by the way, I'm taking that page of Keggy's video down. I'm making it private, you know. So if you don't have a link, you're not going to be able to access it. Uh, I mean, just because uh, she disagrees with Andrew Yang doesn't mean she doesn't support Andrew Yang. Just because I disagree with Patrick Kegi doesn't mean I don't support her. And doesn't mean I, I am not thankful for what she did. She, she, she was a tremendous Yang Yang member. Uh, I don't discount her effort and all the positive things that she done for Yang Yang. I'm very, very thankful and I still uh, go watch all videos and stuff yeah <laughs> so yeah this is it. I hope she I, I thought she ever saw one of my I mean my video but uh, I hope there's no hard feeling in there <laughs> anyway I just I, I I'll put it down uh, I don't want to <laughs> make a mountain out of molehill right <laughs> so anyway later <laughs>